The president, please be seated. The chamber is now back in session. The chamber would like now to give the floor to Councillor Stotonski, who is representing this civil party, to put additional questions to her client if she so wishes. Yes, thank you, Mr. President, uh, for having the opportunity to ask uh, my client, Mr. Jum. Surat. Um, but before I do this, I only would like to um, ask the president or the chamber uh, to get in future events of any objections of the defense or other parties to um, our clients that uh, we get the right to be heard because I tried to respond at the second time and could not respond anymore to the uh, intervention by the Defense uh, Council and only to clarify that the English word coward is, uh, the, uh, has in the, is in the trans, uh, French translation uh, the word lâche uh, uh, that is the word that is used in this poem and that was quoted by the accused. Uh, I would like to uh, present now some photos uh, to my client and uh, that he could explain these uh, photos of his brothers and also of his uh, sister-in-law. And I would like to ask Mr. President to um, uh, direct the court officials to put them here on the screen so that he can explain uh, and elaborate on these photos. The President, court officer, can you arrange to have the photos shown on the screen? Mr. President, I would like to uh, give my client the floor and to comment on these photos to be shown and to explain these photos and where they are from and when they are taken uh, and without to interrupt him to elaborate on all these photos that uh, should be presented. Thank you. The President, Mr. Jum Sirat, you can now proceed with the photo description. Jum Sirat, this is a photo of my youngest brother, Jum Sinaret, a medical student in his second year. This photo was taken by a friend of mine and given it to me. Un ami à moi a pris cette photo pour me la remettre. This is the photo of Chum Sinaret. Voici encore Chum Sinaret. Who at the time 
did not yet fall into the hands of the torturous clique of Mr. Kang Kek Il alias Duke. Civil Party. This is the photo of Sinaret and Naret on the right hand side. Is Sinaret and on the left is Jum Naret. The photo was taken during the cremation ceremony of my mother. That was 17 days before Naret went to the Naki forest as I described earlier. These two were very close to one another. Civil Party. This is Kum Sawanari, alias Dawn. I had never met her. She was my younger sister-in-law. With the President's leave, I would like to appeal to anyone Who can recognize Kum Sawanari, Elias Dawn, the wife of Chum Narit, who entered Tulslein prison with Chum Narit with a young infant? Please contact me. Quiconque la reconnaîtrait est prié de me contacter. I can be contacted by the victims Je unit of this tribunal. De de victimes des the president, le can you zoom out to show the content of that document? Stop at uh, that place, and can you move a little bit further up? Voilà, très bien. Ce peut montrer move to the end of the document. Du document la fin. You can now take the document off. Très bien, vous pouvez retirer le document du président. Thank you. I would like to uh, ask my client, Mr. Jum Sirat, now one question, and um, that is the following. Um, I would like to know and that you explain here in this courtroom what do you think and how do you um, cope with the excuses of Comment vous the accused les and what it means les for you? Présentées par l'accusé. Veuillez nous expliquer ce qu'elle signifie pour vous. Civil Party. Réponse. In the beginning, when I heard the apology made by the accused, I was happy. Au début, j'ai été heureux d'entendre les excuses. I thought, at least amongst the leaders of the Democratic Cambodia, one was brave to acknowledge. Courageux et reconnaissait. I want to believe it. Je voulais le croire. To believe the apology by the accused. 
but the longer I have participated in the proceedings, the feeling of trying to believe dissipated. I believed it is not genuine. And why do I say that? Je crois que les excuses de l'accusé ne sont pas véritables. Pourquoi On the 31st le 31 of March 2009, 2009 l'accusé a fait I une quote déclaration qui était très remarquée. Et je le cite what he said from the transcript sur la base du contenu d'audience. As follows, at present, I am remorseful des remords and I feel shameful et de la honte as a person who bears the responsibility and the guilt for the Cambodian people as a whole. And then he continues, I quote, in order to comfort myself, I prayed for forgiveness. First, I seek forgiveness from my parents, then my mentor, and I pray for forgiveness from the Cambodian people. people. On, the, on the 17th November annually, November, année, that was my date of birth, and I would make a small ceremony et fois, to pray. Euh, je fais un In the statement de prière, made by the accused, dans cette he prayed. But dit he prier. did not pray for the souls of Mais those who died to rest in peace. He prayed in order to make himself feel better. Se sentir mieux. And I tried to find a way to comfort myself. Dit, that is, I pray on my birthday, 17 November. Le pris le jour de son propre le and on the 9th of July, 2009, 2009, under the questioning by Mr. Kim Meng Ki, the Civil Party Council, civil, Kim Meng -Ki, for Chen Mate, au nom de Chen Mate, he asked the accused whether the accused is responsible emotionally for the suffering inflicted upon Chenmate. And I will quote his speech from the transcript. Mr. Counsel, Maître Regarding the case of Comrade Met, Met, I am not responsible emotionally, responsible but I fully, I am fully responsible before the law, and this is my response. Voilà ce que je puis vous dire, and that, unquote. And regarding my brothers, the accused Alors pour ce qui est de mes frères, knew them very well. Les bien. He wrote me a letter in response, and I was so glad to receive it. Que été très but heureux de recevoir. he said he did not see them, Mais and il if ne he pas even avoir vu, did see them, he would not be able to assist them vu, because they were ordered by Anka. He said he Anka. didn't know anything about this. So, that's why I said his expression is not in you. And if Mr. President and your honors think that my speech, my statement here is biased towards the accused, I would like the chamber to please look at the report 
of the a psychological doctor dated the 8th of April 2008. This psychological doctor named Cyrony Gilbo Francois The President Chachila Bench, you take the floor. Micro pour le juge Lavergne. Il me semble important de devoir interrompre la partie civile. Il s'agit d'un expert que nous allons entendre ultérieurement. Donc il ne paraît pas possible que à ce stade du débat, donc on est impossible à ce stade du débat, ce document puisse être cité. Having not heard the expert, it seems to me not possible to quote what the expert has written in his report. Bien, Monsieur le juge. Yes, Your Honor. The civil party, thank you. There is no need then for me to talk about my third point. However, the the next three points will show that his apology is not genuine. Therefore, on behalf of my late brothers, Chum Si Naret, Chum Si Naret, Chum Naret, Chum Naret, Kem Sewanari, Elise Don, de son surnom Don. And my nephew, I would like to declare before this chamber that I will not be able to accept this ungenuine apology. I am here before this chamber to ask for justice. Je suis ici pour demander justice. And this justice cannot be separated from the truth. I haven't received justice for over 34 years now. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I have no further questions to Mr. Jum Sirat. Mr. Sujinsky, I have no questions to ask Mr. Jum Sirat. I would like to thank you very much for coming and appearing here before the chamber and contributing here and taking undertaking all these efforts to preserve the memory and to respond to the behavior or the defense of. The accused and to contribute here to these proceedings. Thank you very much. I think your contribution to the procedure has been very important. The president, the chamber would like now to give the opportunity to the co-prosecutors to put questions to the this civil party if they so wish. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Euh, monsieur Tchoumsirat, je vous remercie pour votre déclaration Sir, courageuse. Euh, il me semble que dans votre déclaration, vous avez beaucoup insisté sur les éléments d'information que vous avez pu obtenir grâce à vos recherches concernant votre frère Naret et sa femme. Par contre, concernant votre frère Sinaret, je me demandais si vous pouviez nous donner des informations concernant les éléments que vous avez pu obtenir concernant son arrestation, à savoir quand, pourquoi, par qui il a été arrêté, est-ce que cette arrestation était liée à celle de votre autre frère Narit? Et donc, qu'est-ce que vos recherches vous ont 
appris à ce propos si vous avez pu obtenir, bien entendu, ce type d'informations difficiles à recueillir. Merci. Réponse. Regarding my younger brother, Narrate, frère cadet. Although I have tried my best to do de faire de mon his mieux research, I pour, euh, could not find any sujet. more information de trouver, except the photo that was given to me by my friend who took it from S21. I went to S21 in October. 93. I saw his name on the list with no date for the entry and the exit, and it's the same for Kemso Wanari. And I, I had hope, and I also suppose that the day Phnom Penh fell on the 17th April 1975, Sinaret was in Phnom Penh. Because I received a letter from him when the French left Phnom Penh, and when they left, it was toward the end of April, and my brother was still in Phnom Penh, and Cambodian people were evacuated from Phnom Penh on the 17th April, and from what I received from Peck Lum Kun, who was a pilot who dropped bombs at the residence of Lunol in 1973, he then fled to the liberated zone in Krochie province. And after the liberation of 17 April 1975, he returned. And he was a helicopter pilot for the DK government. Pour le gouvernement du Kampuchea démocratique. Later on, plus tard, he stole that helicopter and flew away to Utapau in Thailand. Et and Pao then he en sought Thailand. refuge there. Et il y a and I met refuge. him in 1978 in Oslo. Oslo. There was a, a, an organization for to hold a meeting for those people who fled from Cambodia. It was held in April 1978. At that time, there were about 20 refugees and some experts, Jean Lacouture, a famous journalist, François Bonso, and author of the book Cambodia Year Zero, Robert Hapman and myself. I was a, an interpreter at the time. I was not an expert. And Pit Lam Kuhn was there by invitation. And he knew my brother as he was with Poonam. And Pit Lam Kuhn also went to the forest with Poonam. That's why I learned of my brother where's about in April in 1975 in Phnom Penh. And through my research, he was detained in Phnom Penh in S21 on the 29th of October 1976. And I believe that the two of them would meet before their demise at S21. Retrouver avant de connaître que mon frère connaisse le sort qu'il attendait à S21. Est-ce que le fait que les motifs de l'arrestation de votre petit frère Sinaret restent obscurs vous affecte particulièrement encore aujourd'hui et ajoute à cette souffrance le fait de ne pas savoir depuis si longtemps pourquoi il, aurait été, il a été arrêté et exécuté
อันนี้คือหัวปีจุมซิรัต It is beyond my imagination. s i n a r e t s i n a r e t Was a youth, a student. He did not involve in politics. Un Il ne se mêlait pas de, de la politique. And I am sure he was arrested because he was the younger brother le frère cadet of Sinarit. And like um, Savannah Nari, alias Don, she was Et arrested because she was the wife of my brother. I personally had a regret because I had a plan to migrate them to. Geneva, but because of my misjudgment, I thought it was okay. The situation at the time was okay. We would serve any government. We would try to build our country. We are all Cambodians. Everybody had the same idea, and that's the reason. Several. And a lot of intellectuals, professors, engineers died due to this notion of same Cambodian. And this is my response, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Je n'ai plus d'autres questions, merci, Monsieur Chomsirat. I have no further questions. Thank you, Mr. Chomsirat. Mr. President, the Chamber would like now to give the floor to the Defence Council. If they have any questions to be put to this civil party. La défense, Monsieur le Président, n'a pas de questions à poser à la partie civile. Mr. President, the defence have no questions for the civil party. We wish only to formulate an observation, as was the case for Mr. Funtan at the request of Mrs. Bonsuntari. Mr. Ken Givu has made written comments in reply to the questions of Mr. Sumsirat concerning the members of his family who died in S21. This document, which has already been filed and has the reference E2-19, no, sorry, uh, correction of the defense E3-19 and ERM code Khmer 0. Zero two four three zero one zero zero two four one three French reference zero zero two four three one four zero zero two zero four three two two and English zero zero two zero eight seven four six zero zero two zero eight seven five eight Uh, President, the Civil Party, do you have any comments you wish to make regarding the Defense Council's observation? The Civil Party, thank you, Mr. President. The Defense Council said Kang uh, Gek Il gave me a letter in response to my question, and yes, I received that letter and I already informed the chamber. In that letter, he said he knew my true brother. What I really wanted to know from him was that how my brothers died. And where I know Narod died at Tulslain because he died on the first of January '77. At that time, I believe Jun Ai was not yet in existence. And what I want to know about my other two brother and in-law: how long had they stayed in S21, like in the case of Phung Thon? 
Was it seven months? Was it ten months? That's what I want to know. C'est ce que je voulais savoir. I knew that he already knew my brother. qu'il connaissait au préalable mon frère. But Whoever he and if he wanted to apologize, si that is his right. Excuses, and of course, as I said, it's not genuine. Et I wanted to know the circumstances of the death of my brother. And I don't want him to or the council to rest this useless news uh, document. Uh, the president. Inutile. Le president. He also gave uh, uh, his written response to the daughter of Mr. Pengton yesterday. And the accused said he will try to do further research to fulfill the response of the daughter of Pengton. And that he already received the letter regarding Pengton's daughter's request. And in your case, the chamber will provide you a, a separate opportunity. And here, the defense counsel does not talk about your case. The civil party. My apology, Mr. President, if this is the case involved, uh, the Clinton's daughters and mother and wife, I, I don't understand. The President. De Monsieur Ponton, la fille et la femme de Monsieur Ponton. The defense counsel said she did not have any questions to be put to you, but she wished to make an observation. Like in the case that this morning, some counsels provided the chamber with some information, and this is the procedure we practice in this chamber. Next, the chamber would like to give the floor to the accused. Le président ensuite, to make his observation. Présent, nous allons donner la parole à l'accusé de manière à lui permettre de faire ses observations en réponse à la déposition de M. Chum Sirat. The chamber would like to inform the accused again that this is your right to respond to the statement by the civil party or you can elect not to do so by way of exercising your right to remain silent. The floor is yours. The accused. Mr. President, I would like to reiterate that first, the friends, the old friends who were arrested and detained at S21 were numerous. There was another friend who was senior, the historical professor at the school who went who was arrested and sent there at the very beginning. I did not know he was being sent to the location. I only learned of it later. So regarding the friends, I once worked with, I loved and liked. I had to really get away from them. I did not want to face the challenge. And that's why I said I betrayed friends and colleagues, so Chum uh, Sinarit and Chum Narit were among the friends uh, that I had to pretend not to see them because I did not dare face them. I just wanted to escape uh, from seeing them because everyone who was arrested uh, was regarded as enemy. And when you said about the eyes, of uh, the more than 32,000 dead uh, body, I really realized this matter. Because of this matter, recently I made it clear that I accept everything uh, said uh, by the civil party, and I'm ready to be pointed the fingers at me by civil party. They can punish me to the certain uh, extent, degree of punishment they would wish to do so, and I'm happy to do that. 
Il peut recevoir ce genre de critique et ce genre de punishment avec un smile. Je ne le dis pas. Je suis très sincère maintenant et je suis honnête pour révéler la vérité. Je suis tout à fait sincère, je suis honnête, je souhaite. Je suis sympathique et vraiment remorsable pour les âmes perdues. J'ai ce sentiment de compassion et de remords pour tous. Don't want to recall this matter because I have made it several in several occasions already. Genuinely, I do not really have any sense of vengeance to contest what you made before the court, and I honestly receive, accept all the statements you made. However, I would like to make some observation in relation to the historical facts. d'observations s'agissant des faits historiques. You said that uh, vous avez dit que Pet Lomkun went to the rural area est allé with your brother. dans une zone rurale um, avec votre Mr. frère. Mr. President, in the, the civil party interrupts. I did not say la that. La partie civile interrompt. Non, je n'ai pas the dit ça. President, the accused, le could you please stop here vous so vous that uh, là, we don't want to. Nous ne uh, hear more. voulons pas I en entendre think, plus, uh, je pense que observation should come to votre an end observation, now. vous devez arrêter à présent vos observations. The president, uh, now the hearing of the statement of civil party Chum Sirat has come to an end. de la partie civile, M. Chum Sirat a... Mr. Jumsirat, Monsieur Jumsirat, you can now choose to be seated at the reserved seat for the civil parties, and the chamber is going to hear another civil party. The court official is instructed to call witness Chum, Croatian civil party Chum Nau. La partie civile Chum Nau. D'intervenir à ce moment. Parce que je pense que M. Kengeli avait d'autres observations à formuler que la première qu'il a tenté de formuler. Et je souhaitais que la parole lui soit redonnée pour qu'il formule ses observations. Il me paraît important en l'état de la procédure que l'on puisse faire ce genre de procédure. Il me paraît important de savoir ce qui est fait à ce stade de la procédure pour que nous soyons conscients de ce que l'accusé a à dire. The president, the chamber has noted that there was a reaction from the civil party in response to the observation of the accused. And that observation itself was straying from the facts at uh, S21 between the period uh, during the period, uh, the period uh, in which uh, the S21 was established et de création de being S21, from the 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. So the chamber will reserve its right to actually to refuse uh, any civil parties or the accused uh, for demander l'intervention de l'accusation in relation to civile the pour leur permettre facts which de is, faire des observations concernant the les faits qui ne sont pas pertinents time frame qui n'entrent pas dans le cadre euh, établi 
So if the accused would like to respond si to the request made uh, by the civil party in relation to the search civile, for the truth of the information of their loved one who lost that S21, um, then the chamber would allow to do so, but the, the chamber does not allow the accused to make any observation which is far beyond uh, the facts. So, does the accused wish to make further observations? The accused, Mr. President, the reason I made it uh, in the, my observation is that it was just the beginning, because at that time, the intellectuals who ran away after the demonstration against the Lono, they were included uh, Mom Nai. In 1973, and then Chum Narat, Non Kun, and Six Tun So I remember their names because I had followed However, um, when I researched uh, further, I found uh, the following names. Mais au cours de mes recherches, I found Noon Kun, Noon Kun, and Tun Sopala, but Tun I did not see the name of Sopala. De. I knew that so Kun uh, was known to me Je because uh, Son Sen told me that he committed suicide at the Ministry Son of Education, uh, uh, supervised uh, by Sister Yon Yat. I did not see Yat Chum Narat in the list, vu le nom de but dans there la was Mais a record about Kam Svanari. So I believe that when Kam Svanari was there, so Chum Narat could était have been there too. So il se peut que Chum Narat aurait lui aussi été là. Chum Siret was uh, recorded as the medic from the cooperative. So I think these people were arrested on different accounts, while Chum Narat was arrested uh, based on the previous implications and other people confessions. I have no idea what uh, would happen to uh, the arrest uh, of uh, Chum Zaret, uh, who might uh, have been arrested by the implications of other people dif from different locations. Parce que il avait and I would like to make it clear that the people endroits. who left to the rural area, the sick people, uh, were together with me. Se sont the president, dans les, uh, could uh, dans you les please respond rural, to uh, his uh, question in relation to le the date, the exact date, uh, when his uh, brothers uh, uh, in laws uh, were arrested and executed, uh, so this is his sole purpose to know the truth of the date, uh, and if you can also shed light on the location where their loved ones were executed, uh, then it would uh, be grateful to them. Ont été because Nous they vous en believe that if they can locate uh, where the dead body of their loved one could have been buried, then they can really conduct some kind of religious ceremonies to dedicate uh, or offer some kind of best wishes to them. Um, the accused. Ceremony. Mr. President, I don't have any record of the date uh, when comes Vanari and uh, her husband uh, were sent in. They were there. Um, but uh, I believe that uh, the research by Chum Sirat uh, uh, was uh, plausible in relation to the date uh, when these people were executed. Um, However, although I was the chairman of S21, I don't think I can have a good grasp of the accounts of the dates of these two or three people. Je ne sais pas, je n'ai pas d'informations complémentaires concernant ces trois personnes, et je ne sais pas très bien ce qu'il est advenu d'elles. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir, Monsieur l'accusé. Le président. 
Le président, is your name Chum Nau, the civil party? Êtes-vous bien Chum Nau, uh, la partie civile? I am Chum Nau, said the civil party. La réponse, je suis bien, madame President, Chum Nau. President, how old are you? Question, quel âge avez-vous? Response. Réponse. I am 60 years old. J'ai 60 ans. Question. Question. Where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Response. Réponse. I had uh, two hometowns or deux birth places. Lieu de naissance. At Prague-Rousseille. Prague-Rousseille. Prévain. And uh, another birthplace at the, of my father uh, celui, was le, le lieu de in de mon père. Prévain province. Dans la province de Prévain. I would like to make it clear that très précisé. Uh, in my identification card, uh, ma carte I registered uh, my father's hometown as my hometown, while in other records, I registered the mother's hometown instead. Uh, et, um, Question, so where do you live now? Un autre nom. Question, Response. où vivez-vous actuellement? I live Réponse. in Kampong Liu Prevang. Je vis à Prevang, Kampong Liu. Question, what is your occupation? Question, quelle est votre profession? Response. Réponse. I am at home planting je, vegetables. Je suis euh, à mon domicile, et je, suis, je reste Question, chez moi from et je plante des légumes. 1975, Question. the 17th April to Entre the 6th of January 1979, jusqu'au 6 janvier 1979, uh, qu'avez-vous fait et où étiez-vous pendant cette période Response. Réponse. During this period, au cours de cette période, I may have to um, make it more detail. After the 17th of April 1975, I lived in a military unit uh, in the unité militaire. East. Situé After à Phnom Penh fell, Après la chute de Phnom Penh, the Anka ordered Anka me to come to Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh to work at the general staff logistic session. And on the 12th of August 1977, I was arrested and sent to S21. Question, what is your father's name? Question, quel est le nom de votre père? Response, Réponse. his name is Mie Chum. Mie Chum. Question, what is your mother's Question, name? Le nom de votre mère? Response, Réponse. her name is Quack Sok. Quack Sok. Question, Question, can you please tell the court about your marital Status. Quelle est votre situation? Vous êtes marié? Response. Réponse. I am a widow. Je suis veuve. After 1979, I remarried, uh, but we divorced, marié, uh, and he died, uh, and leaving five children behind uh, mort, under uh, my cinq enfants derrière lui, uh, supervision. Uh, que j'ai dû élever. On <coughs> The president, uh, the chamber would like now to give Question. the floor to the civil party Je lawyer group uh, four to brief the court in relation to the identity of civil party Jumno and the grounds civil for civil Jumneu. party applications.
et qui nous explique les circonstances se justifiant la constitution de parti civil. And uh, the relationship of the claims uh, to the facts at S21 during the democratic Kampuchea regime from the 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979, and uh, the other evidence uh, to support uh, the claims or applications. Mr. President, I only would like to make one remark uh, concerning the translation in English. I have uh, heard that there was a translation when uh, Madame Chimno spoke that uh, it was she was sent to S21. It was obviously S24 in Khmer. Uh, could, or could it be clarified? Uh, and maybe in the French translation, I think it is the same than S21 in the translation. Uh, assume. Yeah? And, or maybe to clarify with uh, the civil party again this point. The president, actually in Khmer we heard S21. I don't know whether what English would say. Madame Chumnel. To which direction or which uh, prison was you arrested and detained? At S21 or S24? Response. Réponse. When I said uh, S21, it was based S21, on the document. Uh, actually, I was document. not sent to Dual Slang. Slang, but the location was the branch of S21. S21. First, I was arrested and sent to Break Tnaut uh, Office or Takamau Prison. Was the former psychiatric Alors, hospital. I was uh, detained there for a short while before I was sent to Stung Chiro. We walked there. At uh, Stung Chiro, I, I was pregnant and I was forced to marry to get married in 1976. After I gave birth to my child, I was then sent to S24 or Presor. The President, uh, could you please stop uh, here because we only now verifying your identity. You will be able to give a comprehensive account of your story actually uh, later. And uh, we now, in the midst of hearing the brief information from your lawyer in relation to your civil party claim. So the civil party lawyer, you still may proceed uh, with uh, the further observation. Uh, Mr. Hong Kong Soon, thank you, Mr. President and your honors. I am Hong Kong Soon. I am the civil party lawyer in group uh, two and four. My client, Madame Chumnu, was a victim. She is a victim in the civil party. She has obtained uh, the identification card, which is already included in the case file. The co-investigating judges have already approved uh, her civil party application form in 2008 uh, in November. There are documents uh, to support uh, her claims that uh, she was the victim at S21 that covered uh, S24, as she already said uh, briefly, previously. 
this document can be found under ERN D25-16-2 in Khmer. ERN 0021-13-2. And the document D25-16-2 which uh, are the supporting documents to prove that she was detained at S24, which was the branch of S21. I would like to also tell the court that uh, Jumno was not the only victim at that time. During the time, her husband, Nu Moon, was also detained. A également été incarcéré. He was tortured at S21, now known as Tool Slang Museum. Later on, he was executed. And another person accompanied her uh, was the her child. De son enfant. The child she gave birth uh, before she was uh, taken to S21. And the baby died uh, because of uh, starvation. Le bébé mort de faim. So she is here, uh, not alone, but uh, on behalf of Et herself donc, uh, and her propre, child and her husband. The documents uh, that have already been filed in the case file related to her husband, Nu Moon, alias Sam, Sam, can be found in the list of the prisoners of S21, or Twelslang prison. In that list, the list of the prisoners from 1975 uh, to 1978. It, he can be found uh, in document under ERN 0071 629 and another prisoner list with e uh, no, uh, with number 61 actually uh, and the ERN 001 zero, zero. 81 and another 16, list of document a uh, list of prisoners and the ERN Une autre liste de prisonniers encore. Zero zero three three one three seven five zero zero trente trois treize soixante quinze and another document of S twenty one autre document émanant de S twenty one and the ERN zero zero three three zero zero one eight zero three Zero three. Another list of S21, the list of prisoners, and the ERN. Another list of prisoners. Zero zero three three. Zero zero. Ten. Trente trois. Seven six. Dix soixante seize. So these are the documents supporting the information that uh, her husband. Uh, was detained and executed at S21. And the document already filed in relation to the ID card Ensuite, la is carte under ERN 00211379. I have already told the court about the biography at S21. But it was not produced at S21, but made at S24. It can be found under ERN 0021-1380. Jumno 
has joined at a civil party to seek justice for her and her husband and kid. Because the most responsible people of the democratic Cambodia had uh, inflicted tortures and sufferings on her, and she is here to also claim for the civil reparation if uh, the accused, uh, after all, is found guilty as charged. So she is going to seek uh, collective and moral reparations at the end. Collective et morale. I would like to also tell the court that Madame Chum Nu was the victim of the decay. Madame Chum Nu est une victime the victim as the result of the purchase or the smashes, as uh, always said uh, by the accused, that uh, he referred to the internal purchase of the enemies inside uh, the decay. My client uh, joined uh, the revolution uh, before the 1975. And after 1975, until the day she was arrested and detained and tortured. And after 1979, after the Vietnamese invaded Cambodia, she had suffered more when she had to go with the accused to Bosat and Batambang. I would like to now stop here, and I would like uh, the president to Je allow her to please uh, uh, continue with her statement. The president, uh, president. So it is now time to take the adjournment. Uh, we will take the adjournment uh, for lunch and we will resume at 1.30 p.m. The civil party can then uh, proceed uh, with her statement after lunch. Uh, you can now please uh, take a uh, Rest Je vous and come back to the courtroom by 1.30 to proceed with your deposition. The security personnel are now asked or instructed to take the accused to the waiting room and return him to the courtroom by 1.30 pour 13h30. Je vais vous lever.